Hello and welcome to the final episode of the Love Bites Awakening from Abyss album cycle. Yeah. As we are at the album closer, Bravehearted. Um, so just had the epic power ballad, which obviously you were half power ballad, half biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> um so usually you would imagine that that would have been the the end of an album, you know, the the big sort of ballady finish. So I'm quite intrigued to see how they follow this. Might be getting double ballad here, Chris. We could, we the, could the, be the, the, double the tricky, ballad. often not uh, try yeah. double ballad technique. Or we're going out on a rager. I reckon. I, I, I oh. I'm expecting pace. I feel like we're going out at pace. You know, the, the album ha- has had a lot of that. And, you know, we've said on other ones, certainly we've done Ramsar ones, that the, the, the crests of the wave, the falls of the wave and things like that. But if I was a betting man, I'd go, we're, we're, we're going out with some boom here. Um, but I guess it's an easy way for us to find out, isn't there? Let's get Braveheart and hopefully not by Mel Gibson. Not by Mel Gibson. Um, I, I would do the Braveheart thing, but I've forgotten it and I didn't really like the movie. Right, let's go.
Thank you, Wembley, and good night. <laughs> well, it went out epic, didn't they? <laughs> it did. It did have, um, you know, we, we we were guessing beforehand what it'd be like, but um, that did feel like the end of an album, didn't it? That 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 yeah. felt like a, a a great punctuation point for what we'd experienced so far, and and uh, well done to him for I think crafting a, a song to, to to finish this album because. It's something that we'll probably get into more the more albums we do. Um, you know, unfortunately, sometimes they kind of albums can fall off a cliff or meander or they haven't put that much thought in. But this one feels like I this is from the EP, but I feel like when they were creating this album, they probably went, right, that's our end point. Get to that. And uh, yeah, I really, I really like that. That was a, a cracking way to end the album. Yeah, that is definitely the most power metal they've yeah, been on this album yeah. which obviously I, I we heard a little bit on like stand and deliver a, some some of the on the the later stuff that we heard that there was that sort of power metal vibe to them a bit um this is the first one on this album that has it it sounds of the 2000s it doesn't sound like it's got a throwback to to 80s or anything like that it's very yeah that sort of dragon force Glory um, Hammer, Sabatoni sort of big fast riffs but doesn't have the throwback vibes to it. And and you know, we've we've done a um a, like a couple of uh, power metal bands on here, haven't we? And um and much because I quite often like them, don't I? They 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 tickle a fancy for me that I, I really quite like and I, yeah, as I say, I really enjoyed this one and I think that was partially um par- partially the reason why um i think it was kind of at the pace that seems to really get into to, to my head and, and again like li- go back to some of the stuff we said on some of the other songs it, it's those little touches that potentially aren't there um with bands that maybe i would find a, a, a bit more mundane but it's that dun 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 like cuttings and bits i'm just going oh mm. it's like you jumped into my brain and said what do you like oh i'll put that there um yeah like um yeah really really <sighs> well i guess we'll get to the album I- I- in a minute um but yeah i can't help but when considering this song um hugely considering it in the i think i'd have liked it as a song full stop mm. i think i especially liked it as the end song of an album is it so I, I mean, this is, is a good way to close the album as, as a whole. Um, part of me was expecting maybe an instrumental actually after the the ballad. Didn't happen. Sort of, 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 the, of course, yeah. that out of my mind didn't happen anymore. <laughs> yeah. But as a sort of throw into how the the album began, that sort of yeah instrumental sort yeah. of sort of flow in. But yeah, no, I I like that. I I can get behind that. So um, album in total, like, uh, what what are we saying? Um, I I think I would be surprised if you go, no, I didn't like it because it feels like terrible. you liked it along the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is definitely going to be one that's going to chuck into the into the rotation. Um, obviously, best track for me was Apocalypse because. You you do a thrash song, yeah. That's that is like putting crack in my cornflakes for me. I love <laughs> love me thrash metal. Um, so just that sort of I'm like, oh, could you done with a little bit more thrash because I've, I know you can do it, but just having the one is enough. You know, it isn't one of those where they're trying to be a thrash band. Um, but as someone that likes old school Maiden and likes old school metal. I I like this. This this hits the nostalgia vibes well enough that also goes the nostalgia is influence, not Steel Panther or yeah. one of those sort of yeah. let's just do the eighties again. It's what do we like about it? Where can we put those flares in? keep it us 
so like obviously um the earlier stuff a lot of maiden style galloping guitar runs or bass runs yeah that think of maiden but they've done it in their own thing they're not gone we're gonna do a, it, the the run to the hills riff because and they're not just a, they're not just a, like a, a maiden cover band are they they're, yeah. they're taking those stylings and and going somewhere with it and even in you know the one that you don't like but as i said that that guitar riff at the beginning part of um the last song stinks of slash on november rain but you can say, oh, they've clearly, they like that song. They clearly want to do something similar to it. But it's not, oh, let's just do the fucking November Rain riff. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's taking an influence of it and then making their version of it. Um, so, yeah, I I like this. And, yeah, I definitely think uh, we'll be doing more. See, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree with kind of, the, the thing that I leave the album with is um, that the clear reverence that uh, they have for lots of music from an extended time period. Because as you say, I, th I feel we do come as the album goes on, maybe not even strategically, but I think they show how many parts of the metal genre and the bands in, 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 in the world of metal that, that they have a love for. And it's kind of the, we love this. Let's make something of our own out of this. And, and I, that, that's what really, um, sings true for me on this. Um, I, I thought it was a really good album. Um, uh, I look at it and I go, you sort of said favorite track, Do you know, I'll be honest. Um, I don't think I can decide a favourite track yet. Quite often, you know, one does stand mm. out, but I think there's a there's quite a few contenders for me on this, and I think a couple of more listens in, I think one will rise to the top. Um, but um, but yeah, I'd struggle to to pick a favourite. We, when we did the the discussion about um, Edge of the World, I said that one's my least favourite on the album because it just it wasn't a track for for me, or certainly half it wasn't a track for me. But I look at that and then go, that's 12 tracks of which I really liked 11 of them. And the one that wasn't for me, it, I still think it's really good. Like I think as a, as a bit of craft, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's not my style. And it's probably, we never had a hard time winning me round. But I go effectively, I'm going, yeah, 12 really good tracks on there. And some I think that the more listens uh, will move into um, great for me. And... I often think one of the one of the best things an album can do is make me want to listen to more by the band. And this certainly made me want to listen to more by the band. You know, like it wasn't, oh, that was fine. And I've had my experience with this, but I'll never need to listen to them again. No, this makes me want to see what they do next. Now, I know a lot of the people from this band, like we said it in, in um, episode one of this run, um, uh, they've come from other bands and things like this. This is not their first rodeo as such for a lot of them. However, as a group, it's their first rodeo. And I go, if this is what you're starting with and these are the areas you're playing with, I can't wait to see what else you do. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm guessing we're, we're chucking these in with the, with Rammstein and, Radiohead, um, because we've still got to do the Radiohead album at some point. Oh, I love you for saying that because I really want to do Radiohead. Um, the yeah. we'll be back and doing it, doing the next album as well. Yeah, um, I, I'd really like to, and, and I guess, um, uh, one of the things to say is for anyone who voted in the poll that that, that got us this album, um, got us to do this album, thanks to you guys because, uh, um, the fact that we tend to have so much listed up to to react to um if you'd have picked something else it might have been a considerable amount of time before we got to this and uh, the fact that i really like it yeah i'm really pleased that um people voted uh for this one and and we probably will run another vote at a certain point to to get another band in the mix but yeah i feel like because we are potentially now going to have three bands um 
to get through on albums for reacts um it might be a little while before we do a public vote again for a, a, a different sort of album because i want to well, kind of get through these so there's only three albums is there i think let me have a look uh da, 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 da. yeah there's only three albums so it's not like there's the loads of or four albums because I'm just noticed the top one because it was just a list as yeah so yeah there's there's four albums it's not like we're going in with someone like Ramstein when they had ten albums to no, work but through I, or things I, like I, that but I guess will... yeah I guess I was going like the public vote might take a little bit longer because <laughs> that is three albums of of three more albums of these guys how many more Ramstein ones have we got to do three. And then uh, nine Radiohead albums. So that's a lot of albums. And and, and as we, uh, and we're on a kind of uh, a certainly uh, predominantly a daily release schedule for these. <laughs> but that's a lot of days. So uh, get ready for the next poll in in. Uh, I'm, I'm having to check what year it actually is now <laughs> in 2029. But 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 no. Um, yeah, I know that kind of all led off with. But yeah, again, you know, thanks for um, those who voted in the poll and, and, and thanks for voting for this. Um, yeah, it's certainly an album that will be added to my wish list to get as an LP and it will be an album that I will listen to a lot from now till the end of my time. <laughs> it could be tomorrow I might get it by a bus. So I'll get, I'll get a listen. I'll get another listen on while I'm having a ciggy after this show, <laughs> just in case. So... Let us know what you think of the album as a whole down there. Yeah. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the YouTube things. And we'll be back very soon with something that isn't Love Bites. But until then, because we don't even know what it is yet. No. That'll be, um, we are, oh, I guess. Uh, yeah. Wrapped up in an enigma. Wrapped up in another word that i can't think of that's the same as a mystery and enigma, right? oh yeah thank you that, that's a, that's a good word I like that word so join us find out what's next and until then goodbye <laughs>